Hey. Do you want to make a song for your FNF mod, but don't know how? I'm coming to help you. In this tutorial, I will briefly talk about how to write a song for a FNF mod. The guide will consist of two videos, preparation for the track and the composition itself. In first part, I will show you where to get the BF voice, tell you where to get the instruments for the track and, most importantly, teach you how to make your own opponent's voice. Interested? Then let's get started. Attention! This guide is not a set of rules for making music. Just a little help to push you to create your own masterpieces. Also, I am not a great composer, just self-taught. Keep this in mind. First, we will need a program to create our compositions, DAW. I am using a doc called FL Studio for this tutorial. Many songs from FNF mods were made in this program. You can also use other DAWs if you're not particularly comfortable with FL Studio. Then, we need what our composition will consist of, musical instruments. But where can we get them? Hiring a whole orchestra for the sake of our composition is impractical. Sound fonts and plugins for playing these sound fonts will help us. What is a sound font? In simple terms, this is any musical instrument crammed into a computer file. For an instrument to start playing, it needs a musician. In this case, a musician will be any plugin that supports a sound font. In the tutorial, we will use the Sforzando plugin, but you can use any other. By the way, BF's voice is also a sound font. Imagine some guitarist picking up boyfriend and playing him like a guitar. What sound fonts should the composition consist of? The internet is full of sound fonts. But, in order not to overcomplicate the task for you, I will use T-Font and SGM. Both sound fonts are a collection of good instruments. Game creator and composer Toby Fox uses these to make great music. Also, do not forget about the main guest, the boyfriend. His voice is the thing that makes composition what we consider FNF music. To do it, we can go in four ways. Use the official chromatic scale from the developers of Friday Night Funkin'. Use a ready-made BF sound font. Cut BF vocals from official songs. Use Yota. The second option will be the simplest and most optimal for us, since for the rest you need to spend more effort than just finding the file with the BF voice and inserting it into the project. I have noted for myself two of the most popular sound fonts, from Mint Breath and from NYX The Shield. I personally use the first one as it is based on the official chromatic scale. The second one is also not bad, but it just didn't work on my PC. I advise you to try both. I leave link to both sound fonts. Then, we need to make the opponent's voice. You can use an instrument instead of a real voice. Record multiple voice samples and use them. Use Yota. I will show you two variants of the enemy voice, instrument and voice clips. The first is the simplest option, take a sound font and use it to voice the enemy. The disadvantage of this method is that it does not sound like someone's voice. But, the instrument itself will definitely sound nice and pleasant. The second is harder. The enemy will sing like BF. In fact, all official songs and many mod songs use this method. Now I'll show you how to do it. From the beginning, record, or find a few voice samples. I advise you to filter them out, but you can make voice clip without it. I will use the TDS voice recorded earlier. Create a new project in FL Studio. Then, double click on the prepared sample, right click on the audio wave of the sample. Then, in the new window choose edit in pitch corrector. In this corrector, right click on the sounds. Thus, the program will tighten the sound to the note. Then, remove variation by either a minimum or a small amount. The lower the value, the smoother the sound. And the smoother the sound, the easier it is to loop. After that, tighten the sound under the notes as shown in the video. Hooray! Now you have a sound ready for processing. It sounds weird and robotic now, 
but we'll fix that in the future. Save this sound with any name. After adjusting, again double click on the sample, right click on the audio wave. Then, in a new window, select edit in audio editor. Remove unnecessary sounds in this editor. The program will then automatically add a beginning and an end for the sound for it to sound natural. Now, we are going to loop the sound. Click on the line and magnet signs. We will need them in the sound looping. Then, zoom in very close. Select one or more similar waves and highlight them. To make loop sound better, try to choose the beginning and end that are relatively similar. After you've done that, right click on the red zone and select region, set loop from the new menu. This will show the program that this is where the sound needs to be looped. Almost done. It remains to tune the sound. Zoom out and right click on the sound wave. Then, select region, detect pitch region from the new menu. The program will show you what the note is on the sides of the sound wave. Remember this note. Congratulations. You have your first voice clip. You can use only one sound clip or make several more. I don't want to use just one sound clip, so now I'll make a few more of the same. In the end, what we have. Voice of BF, voice of the opponent and instruments. We are ready to create a composition. In the next video, we'll talk about choosing instruments, learn the basics of writing music, and learn how to write a nice melody. That's all. Share this video with your friends, like and subscribe to the channel. Hope this tutorial was helpful. Good luck and goodbye.